for those of you that are new, my name is Jeanette, and I'm going to be your host for today's hair tutorial. Before we start, can I get a little commotion for the hair? Because, like, <laughs> it's cute. It's giving cute. So today we're going to be going over the curl formers. You guys, this, this tutorial went viral Instagram, TikTok, it went big. You guys asked for tutorials. I'm gonna give it to you now. With that being said, let's let's get right to it. Let's get to the show. Okay, so starting off with some water. Needed to get my hair wet so it was easier to part. With the parting, it doesn't need to be anything like really really clean. Like I just needed to be able to get sections and just divide my hair. So this is just how I wanted to go about it. I think I sectioned the bottom. I just put three in because like when you separate it, it just gets pretty big on its own. So you're gonna see me going with the dough mousse over and over again. I don't know why I didn't show it. I also didn't show you guys how I even put the blue stick in the thing. I'll, I can do that here, it's whatever. And it came in a pack of 40 of these curler things and I got two of these blue things in the pack. So literally all you do is you put it into the bottom and then just let it go all the way through. You grip your hair as you pull out, you just release and it just grips onto your hair. I had a lot of people saying that the blue thing kept getting caught in their hair. It just kept ripping out like sections of their hair, which I understand, but it's like, if you like grab it further from the root of your hair and more to like the shaft area, it's gonna do that. It's gonna tug less. That's something that I thought that was really, really helpful. Um, but like even just being like really gentle, going slowly, like I wasn't in a rush, so I really just took my time to do the style. So I did get less tugging, but sometimes it did get stuck. I will admit it really did get stuck and it hurts. It hurts because like you're pulling, trying to make it go, but like you honestly just have to be patient with it and then it's like fine for the most part. So this was the mousse I went in with. It's the Doe Mousse Def. I'll put the product descriptions in the captions. I'll put a link to where I got the formers from in the captions as well. You don't have to get the exact same kind. If you kind of see it wherever, just grab it if it's a good price. I paid like 20 bucks for mine. And I also got a pack of 40. Okay. This was so satisfying to do, oh my gosh. Even just watching this back. People are asking if I used any other products besides the mousse. I literally just made sure my hair was moisturized with my hair detangler, like literally whatever moisturizer you have, just something like really lightweight. And then I just went over with the mousse and then just kind of went in and it was honestly fine. The parting honestly all just depends on literally the shape of your head and how your hair goes. Like, for me, like, Usually, the second time around where I'm gonna part my hair, I'm already at my ears. But that literally just depends on your hair. Oh, also water. Water did play a big factor into it. Just to making sure like my hair was just soft. I wasn't, water and detangling your hair before just made honestly everything just go smoother for me. Yeah, and if you care, not everybody does. I really didn't until I got to the front, but like, the curlers, my dog broke this one, but the curlers go different ways. So like, if you go like this, it's gonna spiral a different way, I'm sure you can already tell. Also, a lot of people were like, oh, but like, your roots are telling on you, or like, what about the roots? Like, how do you get the roots to lay flat? Like, in this style like this, like, you can't really see my roots. And it's like, that's kind of like, what I go for, because it's like, I don't really care. I don't really, if you can see my roots, you're standing too close to me. Like that's kind of, I don't know, I just don't really care. Like the hair should already be bigger, big enough to cover it. I'm not gonna put in any extra work to make sure like my roots are perfectly flat or like they're not showing. Like I, just for me personally, I just didn't care. I really didn't care. Sometimes I would have to, my hair would kind of morph the curler so I would just have to kind of like spin it back into shape. That was something I noticed. I didn't have to do that a lot of the times. Or like sometimes I would just have to mold it to be facing downwards if it just went like to the side or something. Yeah, water really was my savior here. And the parts really don't have to be perfect. I just wanted to make sure that like I was being really, really thorough and doing a really, really good job because I knew I was gonna be posting this tutorial. This was the second time I've done the style because you guys asked for it after I posted the first one and I was like, okay, let me give them a bigger and better tutorial. Just see like that, how it kind of just like sprung. You just shape it and it's honestly good. I really like stuff like this, like waveformers, because it's like, I was able to get the results I was able to get without putting direct heat on my hair. Like, yes, I used the um, hooded dryer, but like I didn't have to like blow dry my hair or anything. And I was like, oh, okay. And like my face was shocked. Everyone was talking about it. I was like, I was just shocked. She was like, yeah, cause like who, who was expecting this? Who was expecting this? And it's like, even just like using these as a form of like just stretching your hair without any like direct heat, I think is even awesome. Yeah, you'll see it get caught in my hair a couple of times. But it's like, just work through it, go slowly, be patient, it just, it, it'll work. 
but like don't yank it because then you'll literally pull your hair out and that is literally painful. I also did post photos of how this the curl formers turned out on my Instagram. So if you guys could go drop a like and a comment. Um, we're getting to the front of my head. I don't think I took as much footage because it was just, for some reason it was easier to film the back than it was the front because you see me using that, that tri mirror. I also got that on Amazon, I will link that below. I think when I got to the front I was just like, okay, they get the point. And the front, I did try to go in with more curlers but I was running out because I only had like a pack of 40 but it's like, the 40 was enough, like you don't need two packs of it. Well, I guess if you have more thicker hair than you would, but like for me, I just made it work because like ain't nobody trying to spend more money. Oh, look at that. That's the final look. That's not the final look. Sorry. I was done though. I was done. Okay, so I sat in the hooded dryer for I think 20 to 30 minutes, but then I did have to go to the vet because my dog got sick. So keep that in mind. I did. I didn't take them out right away, but the last, the very first time I did it, I Literally 20 or 30 minutes I was done and I was unwrapping them and they were fine. They were dry. This was the most satisfying part about doing the waveformers. Like, taking them out, oh my gosh. And then you see me shocked again because it's like, how is this happening? Like, how, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. So my method to kind of taking it out, as you can see, like I'm stretching the curl former as long as I can and then pulling it all out so I don't get too much just like... Ooh, look at that. Wow. Too much tension. Look at that. Look at that. They came out pretty, pretty easily. You'll see me do it here. Hold on. What am I doing here? Wow. Yeah. Curled it into the right this direction. This is really good. Now, if you're looking at the back of my head and you're going to be like, okay, you don't, I don't have as much hair there. I've talked about it on the channel before. I do have less density in the back of my hair. Like my hair is not as thick in the back of my head because of my knotless braids. When I wore them, when I got knotless braids in January, I kept them in for too long, didn't take care of my hair. Um, it got to a point where they were really, really heavy and tugging at my strands. So I did lose a lot of hair in that section. So it doesn't always look as full in the back. Here you'll see me, yeah, see? Just put it in the right direction and you're good. Yeah. Can't help it with your body Just wanna make you happy I just wanna call on you Money just fall on you Not a thing I won't do Ooh yeah I just wanna call on you Let me do it all for you Can't nobody ball on So that's it, that's all the way formers out of my head It doesn't does it look like 40? I don't know. Kind of doesn't look like walk back, but as I said, it won't. To separate the curls, I'm using the African Pride oil. I'll link it below. And just literally going in again to separate them. You want to separate them where they naturally want to separate. So you'll see them kind of space out on their own. And then you just want to like finger twirl in the direction. And then you're literally fine. That's literally it. If you go the wrong direction, you'll see it in the curls. You see, like you'll see you see how there's like spaces in between. That's where they naturally want to separate. And like See, this is where I took y'all's advice and I wish I didn't. Like a lot of you were like, oh, like I want to see them separated more. And it's like, I get that. But it's like, if you separate it too much, you won't get as long of a wear out of it. Cause like it frizzes up way, way more fast. And it's like, yes, it looks cute for day one, but then you only get day one. And it's like, was it really worth it for one day? Oh, I really wish I didn't take your, I mean, it still t turned out decent. Like it turned out nice, not as nice as the first time, because the first time lasted longer, because I didn't separate it as much. But y'all were like, they should be separated more. And I was like, okay. I'm also still learning, so. That's just how I like to wear it, but hey. I think somewhere along the back, I just got irritated and my arms were tired. So I did kind of care less. I think you can kind of see it, because it's like some of the pieces would get tangled and it's like, I didn't really have the great, the best point of view. So I was just kind of like, whatever, and it got kind of frizzy, but it was fine. It ended up being fine. I noticed if you made it too small, the sections, like the curl just didn't pop as much. It wasn't as nice. You can see my little gray hair is poking out, but it's cool, it adds character. Like, do you see what I mean in the loss of definition if you do it too small? I don't know, it's just me. Ooh, but look at them. Man, guys, this style came out way, way, way better than I could have ever imagined. I was like, let me just do this little video. Let me try something new and wow, wow, staple, staple. Like if I'm going somewhere and I just need like a, okay, this is not a quick style, but like a serious, like dramatic, like this is it. And it's like, there's no heat. Well, no direct heat, but like you could even sleep in it overnight if you didn't want to add heat and it would just 
turn out amazing. See, I think at this point I was getting actually like really disappointed with the style because it looked a little too frizzy for me. Like this is not the way I wanted to turn out because it's not the way I had it the first time because I was taking all advice, but it's fine. I made it work. I'm like, I think that's all really natural hair for me is it's just like making it work, like turning it into something that you can like rather than being like calling it quits and just being like, I'm done. Like I'm, I'm frustrated, like I'm fed up. It's just kind of just like making it work. Like you put the time in already, like why throw it all away? But I'm gonna tell you, I was upset. I was upset. I was upset, but it was, it's fine. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think I could have separated the front pieces, maybe like, like separated them once or twice, but like, it's whatever. I think I was just shook because it was coming out frizzy. Everyone, people are like, why don't you show the back of your head? It's like, because if you can see the back of my head, you're too close to me. But I showed you the back of my head. This is what it looked like. Yeah, okay, so then I want to separate the rest off camera because I think <laughs> I was just frustrated. But look at this comeback. Like, I actually made it work. Like, see what I mean? Like, I made it work. It looks fine. It looks good. Did it come out the way I wanted it? No. Did it come out as nice as I thought it did the next time? No. But it was fuller. I will say that. It was fuller. But it was for the year. So it's fine. It's fine. It's a learning process. It's a learning process. I went in with the pick just to fluff it out a little bit more. You see, you can see I missed some spots, but you could obviously just go in and just do it as you like. And that's it for the hair tutorial, guys. That's literally it. That's all I did. That's how I did it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Let me know if you like this style of like where I'm tiny and like tutorials big so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Okay, I'm going to tell you now how I achieved this hair. So when I posted this curl former video, a lot of you guys are like, that's actually not waveformers, that's coral formers. I call them waveformers. So I bought I bought the actual waveformers and I just posted a TikTok video on it. And this is this is the outcome. And it looks bomb. Like bomb.com. Like it looks so good. It looks so I'm loving the whole waveformer thing. Waveformer, curl former. I'm loving it. This look guys. Don't ask me for a tutorial because I'm done. I'm done with the waveformers right now. Don't ask me for a tutorial. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please like, comment, subscribe. Give me your advice. Give me your input. What do you think? I'll see you in the next video.